today leaving Ethiopia. I'll be playing the from Addis to Cape Town. Okay. Quite a long flight, six hours across the African continent. Here is a test of Ethiopia. This is our bucket food. You use your fingertips like us, you can clean up later on after you eat. This injera, the bread is uh, fermented, tastes sour, very heavy taste. The problem with this configuration is if you have a window seat, you feel really private. If you have an aisle facing seat, maybe less private. 100 above, 30, 20, radar. Morning from a safety vehicle at the Addis Bowley Airport. Currently doing a runway sweep on runway 7 right and gonna do some morning plane spotting. I missed most of the landing actually, it came out late around 8 o'clock. There's still a couple more coming in. So there are two waves of peak departure and arrival at this airport. One in the early morning, you see about 30 wide body coming to land and then all the gates get filled up with wide body airplanes. And then the people transit from everywhere, from Europe, America, Asia, transit inside to every part of Africa. Around nine and 10, all the airport will, all the airplane will come out for departure. Wow, I really enjoy when I see the airplane airborne glide into the air. It's very really interesting. They use the latest airplanes, 787 and A350, to all the African countries and to many developing and interesting places like Kinshasa, Kano, Liberville, Malabo, you name it. I don't know if you're a fan of 78 or the A350. Let me know in the comments. Good morning, today leaving Ethiopia at the Addis Airport. Uh, the entrance has a security check. This is very common in Africa. You go through a security check before you go to check in. Thank you very much, sir. The number 18, the Afghanistan boarding at 7.30. And you may proceed to the business now. Andre. Andre. Andre, I'm from Madagascar. Madagascar? Yeah. Where are you Madagascar. flying to? I'm flying to Togo. Lome. Ah, Lome. Lome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So after two rounds of security check, removing your shoes, I'm finally airside here. Now I see the crowds are coming already at 6 o'clock, landed. Lots of people coming through here to transit. I'm going to head to the lounge now. Busy this morning. Yeah, super busy. Super What's your busy. capacity? Is coming full now. Is, today is around you know 500. Something. 500. Yeah. This is my first time using this new lounge because okay. four years ago I came it was still the old lounge, yeah, and then ten years ago it was the old old lounge. So they keep putting a new lounge, new lounge. and they keep getting full in the morning. Yes. Yes. How long it take to roast the beans? It takes uh, you know, uh, five, three to five minutes. Only five minutes? Yes. Not one hour? No, 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 one hour. Too strong the snow. 
I am not normally not a coffee drinker, but I have to admit the aroma, it smells strong and it's very nice taste actually. I met a friend from Korea, all <laughs> over the world. People came to Africa. Where are you going to? Uh, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Yes. Are you going to climb the mountain? Oh, yes. Seriously? <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, honeymoon. Honeymoon. Yeah. That's a really cool destination <laughs> for honeymoon. <laughs> Bread. The traditional bread. Yes, sir. Bread and coffee. Morning. Bread and coffee. It's must. Colorful background, so I have a bit of advice for you if you're coming to a lounge during busy morning hour transiting. The rare section where the food is is the crowded area, and come forward to the near the entry. There's more sitting here. How, how many shower rooms you have here? And we have for men is four. Four shower rooms. Four, four, room. four ladies as well. Four ladies the same. This is our business massage room. There's a massage room here. Yeah, we have massage room here for our customers. When are you gonna open this? Uh, we are going to open it next. Captain uh, A350. Today we'll be playing uh, from Addis to Cape Town. It will take us uh, six hours and five minutes today. We'll be cruising at uh, 36,000 feet above mid sea level. We have the train for six Now we are uh, finishing up our preparation. Uh, we are waiting for the load sheet to be posted. As soon as they posted, we'll sign up electronically and uh, use a performance. Zero foot weight 174.7. Fuel 50.2. Today, takeoff weight will be 225. Can close it. Have a nice flight. Eight four seven normal rotation. Normal first position is eight four seven. I am Barucha Chula. I am now Kabatone. Kabatone to start the green macaron. I love this music. It's so Ethiopian, just like my dress, right? Yeah. Interesting. 
in this flight, the flow is a little bit different. They don't serve food immediately. Uh, they serve a drink and now wait for two hours until lunchtime. Everyone get hungry again. They serve a lunch and then they will land in Cape Town. It's quite a long flight, six hours across the African continent. Our routine today is uh, we depart from uh, this easterly direction after uh, airborne uh, steer uh, right, follow southerly direction. After we fly uh, a couple of uh, minutes, so we join uh, Kenya airspace, then uh, Tanzania airspace, uh, Zambia airspace, uh, then after Zimbabwe, uh, Botswana, then uh, South Africa airspace to Cape Town. As you can see, we are maintaining that 38,000 feet above the sea level and uh, cruising Mark Decimal uh, 85. As you know, uh, this is a uh, very high altitude uh, airport. The takeoff uh, run was a little bit uh, long. Uh, that's because uh, the altitude is uh, high, so that uh, the maximum uh, weight uh, we can uplift on uh, altitude. This is 250.6 tons. Your country very very spicy in the food I couldn't take it yeah and it it's spicy most of the passengers like it but some might not and that's why we have another choice of European dishes and other dishes yeah. as well for the all passengers being a cabin crew on Ethiopian Airlines is not easy because your country has 120 million people mm -hmm. to get selected to work here representing your country it that's did. quite an achievement it was a dream come true for me when when I get the call from Ethiopian Airlines to being a candidate of a cabin crew and I was telling my mom even to pray so that I can achieve and be here and work for our airlines I try out the bed which is not bad actually a little bit wider than the 787 the problem with this configuration is if you have a window seat you feel really private if you have an aisle facing seat maybe less private so not all the seats are the same in business class now 30 minutes before landing to cape town i think the ethiopian airline is not a luxury airline like emirates or singapore airlines but I think they have the best standard in Africa so far, I've experienced. I think they're a major network airline. If you are a frequent flyer in Africa, you know, this is not a strange name to you. Um, what's proven is the achievement 
of the growth in the last 10, 15 years. And uh, it is quite a miracle, I think. It's really, really a proud African airline to be growing, having such a network. And I can't wait to see what's happened the next five years to them. Uh...